Hailey Bieber recently put out a video talking about God, her faith, and her perspective on other Christians. I watched the video because I was kind of interested in what her take on the gospel was and her own faith. You guys know if you've been following me for a while that I reviewed and reacted to uh, Justin Bieber, one of his interviews where he talked about his Christian faith. And I was kind of impressed, honestly, by his ability to verbalize his faith and the gospel in general. So I was interested if Haley had that same quality and what her faith meant to her. Well, what I received in watching this video, she has this perspective that a lot of other Christians are judging her and she feels like she has been judged for a long time for not being the cookie cutter Christian that a lot of people think she should be. I've met Christian people that are just super judgmental and make yes. me feel like I'm a bad person because I don't live my life the way they think I should yep. live my life. And so she's kind of snapped back at them saying that we each have kind of our own relationship to God. We each have our own kind of journey and you shouldn't judge me just because my journey doesn't look like yours. Your relationship with God is not going to be the same as mine mm -hmm. and not the same as yours or any other person in this room or in the world. Like we all have different relationships yes. and ways that we relate to the Bible and relate to Jesus. And she talked about how Christians judge her for doing lingerie or underwear shoots, saying that she's not exemplifying what a Christian should look like in the world. And I felt weird about certain, like posting certain yeah. photos of myself or feeling like people in the church are going to see this. Am I doing something wrong? Am I setting like a bad example? And the reality is, is like it, no. She says that Christians that are doing this aren't being loving and they're actually the ones not exemplifying Christ very well. If I end up seeing a comment that's like, you're this and you're a and then I click on their page and it's like, mom of four, <laughs> Philippians 4.13, married, wife, God-fearing woman, and I'm just like, huh? How is that showing the love of God? Like, how is that winning souls? Which is what turns a lot of people off, I believe, to church. Now, I've definitely seen both sides to this kind of struggle. There's definitely people out there that are just judgmental, for sure, right? They will criticize you on everything. They're like the modern day Pharisee where they want you to stay to what they believe, maybe hold to their expectations or how they're deciding to run their own life. Now, the line here is, is what the Bible and what God actually calls us to specifically. You see, there's areas where we can have differences of perspectives and opinions. Um, some people have different perspectives on modesty or uh, alcohol. Those different things are really interesting and in how different people, Christians, navigate those things. I think it gets to a certain point, though, in terms of what Haley Bieber is talking about. It gets to a certain point there where we can legitimately be like, whoa, what, what, what's going on there? Just uh, talking for myself, I'm a Christian man. I would not, um, it would not be good for me to just, uh, I don't know, like flip through a magazine where all her pictures are. That would be icky that would be bad that wouldn't be appropriate for me to do as a christian right and so my question is is like okay if that would be inappropriate for me or for anybody else really to be seeing these things all over the place um is that appropriate for her is that something christ-like for her to do or are we perverting things in the name of money and i just think that's something that that we all need to ask ourselves like i realize right she has a lot of opportunities and a lot of like her whole career is tied up in this stuff so i understand why she wants to vehemently defend it to the end but i also understand people that are saying hey but you claim this thing but why aren't you why aren't you representing it well and we all make mistakes right we all are 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 flawed representations of what christ should be right so at the same time as we're saying okay well look she, there's good issues there we ought to look back at ourselves and say okay well where are my own issues where are where are the things that i've like been okay with in my life i've made excuses for that are actually wrong that are actually showing giving christ a, a bad uh, rep 
And so that's kind of the, the place that I'm at. But I think the thing we need to be careful of when we're speaking into somebody else's life is, okay, how are we speaking? In, are we with the accusatory, like, this is your intention behind this. This is your, why you're not a Christian. This is why you're bad. Or is it this idea of obedience comes to connection, not coercion. So if you're in somebody's life that's that you're seeing things go on, you're like, this is not good. Should you try to coerce them into obeying God? Or should you show them Jesus and what he's like through that connection? They begin to have a deeper relationship with Christ and want to represent him more accurately. It would be unloving of us if there was somebody in our life that was going off the, the, the straight and narrow that was really getting themselves into some bad situations or doing things that were just counter to the Christian faith, counter to what Jesus would want us. And if we were to just stay silent, like staying silent isn't love. But at the same time, just accusing and condemning isn't love either. And I think there's going to be a lesson for us. I don't believe that it's a good thing for a Christian to do uh, the the kind of media that she's doing, the pictures that she's taking. Like, I, I don't think that's a Christ-like thing to do. And I'm having a hard time understanding how she could. But if I had the ability to speak into her life, I would ask her, okay, do you think this behavior, doing these kind of provocative photo shoots, this kind of whole pr provocative image, really is glorifying to Christ. What do you think it does to the men that are trying to fight off all this over-sexualized media? I know we live in an over-sexualized culture where this stuff is just seen as, oh, it's whatever, it's sexual liberation, it's, it's freedom, we're all free in Christ. But honestly, if we get back to the grounding of like what is right and what is appropriate and God's design for sexuality, we can begin to see that we've gone off track big time. And... That's not to say that this is so far out that, oh my goodness, you know, you're just terrible. You can never be safe. Of course not. We've all sinned. We've all fallen short. And that is exactly why we need the gospel. And uh, I haven't heard a lot of what she knows about the gospel. I know she talks about Jesus being all for love and acceptance. And maybe that's some of her, her problem where she's like, well, God's about love and acceptance. So I can kind of just do what I want. But God was also, he also preached about repentance for the kingdom of God is at hand. He also preached about obedience and his commandments, how he did not take away the law, but actually he fulfilled the law. And he actually, honestly, added to the law in some ways. When you look at his commandment of thou shalt not commit adultery, he said, but I tell you, if you look at a woman to lust after her, you've already committed adultery with her in your heart. We love to embrace Jesus' attributes of love and acceptance, but we have a hard time with the idea of obedience and repentance. But in order to get the full picture of who God is, we need to embrace both. I hope you got something from this video and I'll see you next time. God bless guys.